This is just a quick tip, which is one of my favorite ways to use Notion, which is creating what I call a swipe file or swipe folder. Um, it's basically a database full of inspiring examples of web design, landing pages, online courses um, that I can connect up to projects. I can use them as inspiration. And it just kind of keeps me in touch with what's happening, you know, beautiful design, things that I can share with my clients and also can guide my, my own website redesign. Um, so here's an example of some of the different views that I have. So I've got examples of landing pages, online courses, communities, lead magnets, ethical brands. Um, of course, this would be different for everyone, but these are things that I like to follow. Uh, sales pages, and you can see I've got different filters set up so that if type contains, well, this one is not even set, let's do that. Type contains sales page, then that will create a filter here. And I can click on any of these, and in most cases, there will be a full page screen capture. You can see here. And so how I actually save these, so let's say I'm on a website here and I really like this. Um, what I do is I often will use the full page screen capture in Chrome, it's an extension here. So I can click on that, might look a little bit funny because I'm also using um, Loom to record my screen. So you might see some funny business. Yeah, so you can see that's not that's pretty good actually. So I'm gonna copy that image, um, and then two options. One is to just go back into the swipe file and add a new website if I want to, um, and that's a template. So if I open that up, you can see it's already got type, web design, web design in there, um, or I can just use the Notion Clipper, and let's add that to the swipe file. Open in Notion. You can see it just pulls automatically whatever image is on the site. Not necessarily super helpful, so I like to go in and uh, paste that full page screen capture that I took. So it's not perfect, you know, um, because the website uh, has a sort of fixed fixed image, but that's fine. It's more for the the general inspiration here, and then I can also tag that with web design. Tag it here as well. Let's say website, and this is just a home page. And so maybe there's a sp specific project that I want to connect it to. Um, I think we had like a, yeah, a revamp. You know, maybe I want to use that as inspiration for my own website revamp. Uh, I can add any notes there. Uh, if it's a sales page, I'll put in the price of the offer in there. Um, source, I often will save a lot of items from the same folks, and that way when I go back to swipe, I can create any number of filters. So maybe um, maybe I just want to create one for websites, you know, like website design inspiration. Choose gallery, and there we go. These are all the beautiful websites I can now access. So yeah, at, at my fingertips, I can jump in here at any point and I can look for awesome examples of design, um, email campaigns, things like that. So if you're in marketing or you work with clients and often have to um, share examples, this is a really great thing to do for yourself, um, even just to collect ideas and, and inspiration for whatever you're interested in. And again, I don't always give everything all of these properties. Uh, over time, I I go through and I review and adapt and connect these to projects for inspiration. But this is one of my uh, favorite use cases for Notion. And one thing that I also typically do is I will embed this swipe database. I will I will say copy link to view. And then when I'm inside of a client portal, I will paste that swipe file and I will say only show me things that are tagged with that client and then um, the client can just see any inspiration that I've pulled for them. And that's just a really fun way to, again, collect, collect inspiration so that you're not starting from scratch every time. So if you have to write email campaigns or you're looking for some design inspiration for your own personal website, 
it's just a really handy tool that you can use. It's kind of become a replacement for my Pinterest because now it's just everything is one click away and it's connected to existing projects. So if I open this up, I can see it's this is connected to home ownership. So here's an example email. I really like the marketing of it. And then I can jump in and say home ownership. And so again, my swipe files, my areas, my resources, things I'm reading about related to home ownership, everything kind of gets connected and, uh, and inspiring. So hopefully that inspires you to create your own swipe file.